an excerpt narration from the book Glow, God's Light Outspoken Through the Words of Venerable Aloysius Schwartz, A Father's Note. Truth One who lies does not belong to Jesus. He is of the devil. If we wish to belong to Jesus, the just one, we cannot steal, we cannot practice dishonesty, or cheating, or injustice. It is not enough for you just to keep the commandment of Jesus, to practice truth, justice, and purity, but you must teach others to do this. You must lead others on this path of truth, justice, and chastity. You must be a witness to these virtues. We must go into the society darkened, corrupted, and depraved as children of light. We must be witnesses to Jesus and show this beautiful light of Jesus, this light of truth, this light of justice, and this light of purity. First, we must begin in our own hearts. Little by little, first you change your own heart. Then you change your family. You change your community. Little by little, you will change the Filipino society. You will transform the country so that it becomes truly a country which is Christ-like, a country which has the sweet fragrance of Christ, a country which is pleasing to God. It is a great task to which you have been called. With Jesus, with His power, His force, His courage, you can change the world. So you can, so you can. You must believe this. This is what your mission is. You can transform the society. Lying seems like nothing, and everybody does it. Everybody deceives, practices falsehood. So you do it once, twice, and then you'll develop the habit of lying. You'll do it without thinking. You'll become a liar, and your conscience becomes weak and dull. You are a witness to Jesus by practicing His doctrine and by teaching this to others. You believe in truth and practice truth and give witness to truth. When you lie, you insult Jesus, as did His enemies. When you steal, you slap Him in the face. When you commit impurity, you spit in His face. You cannot do this habitually as a group, as a community. Every day, you cannot insult Jesus and slap His face and spit in His face and still say that you are a disciple of Jesus and still think you are a friend of Jesus and still think that Jesus will give you His blessings and His graces and His gifts. If we wish to follow Jesus, we too must be close in truth. We must be children of light. If you constantly, no matter what sacrifice it entails, tell the truth and speak only the truth, give witness to the truth before the saints and angels in heaven, you are as Jesus. Your face shines as the sun and your clothes in a spiritual sense as white and bright as snow. After Jesus was condemned, the leaders of the Jews went out and one by one they slapped the face of Jesus with the palms of their hands, and they spit upon his face. This, my dear children, is what we do when we lie, when we deliberately deceive or cheat. Again, we strike the face of Jesus, who is truth. We spit upon Jesus, who is light, in the face. Again, we nail Jesus to the cross. As disciples and believers of Jesus, you are few in number. You must go into the society and influence it. You must go as children of light. You must give witness to the truth, no matter what sacrifice you must make. This is your calling. It requires courage. Jesus says, the greatest in the kingdom of heaven is he who keeps the least of my commandment and teaches others to do the same.
If you really study for Jesus, you must be totally honest and truthful, and you would rather get a zero on your exam than to get a hundred by lying and cheating. This is the spirit of Jesus. This is what it means to study for Jesus. I have come to give witness to the truth. Because of this witness to the truth, this love of the truth, Jesus suffers on the cross and He dies for us. Whenever we deliberately lie and reject the truth, we are rejecting Jesus. We are, in effect, crucifying Him anew. Ours is a God of truth and a God of light. And if we wish to be children of God, we must be children of the truth, children of light. A lying tongue is an abomination to God. He really hates lying, deceit, cheating, pretense, hypocrisy. We ask for the grace to be truthful at all times, no matter how difficult it would be, even if we risk our lives for the truth. When you receive Jesus in the Eucharist, promise Him, Jesus, increase my love of truth, my belief in truth. Give me the courage to be faithful to truth. I will not follow the world which is deceitful and lying. I will follow you. Help me. Increase my faith in truth and strengthen my love of truth. Make me a witness to your truth. Jesus in the Gospel said, The devil is a liar, and he is the father of lies. He lies of his very nature. When we lie or deceive or go against the truth, we choose the devil and we become children of the devil. This is what the people did when they rejected Jesus and chose Barabbas. Barabbas was the symbol of everything which Jesus was not. He is the symbol of darkness, of deceit, of falsehood. They rejected the light, and they chose Barabbas. This is what we do when we lie.